Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you my quick and easy powder foundation routine. This is the makeup look that I do when I don't have a lot of time in the morning to get ready, but I still wanna do a full face of makeup. I still wanna look put together. I do this a lot on days when I go to work or maybe on days when I don't have a lot going on, but I still need to go out and run some errands, which is what I'll be doing today. If you're new here, my name's Rachel. I do all sorts of makeup and beauty related videos. If you enjoy this video, then I hope you will subscribe. And now let's get into today's video. So I've already done my morning skincare routine, applied SPF. I'm gonna go in with primer. I've been working my way through this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I really like this one. It makes my skin really smooth and blurred. And I feel like that is a good way to start, especially when I'm using powder foundation because this does a lot of the work for me. It mattifies my T-zone and makes everything look super smooth. On quick makeup days, I fill in my brows first. Sometimes I fill in my brows immediately after doing my skincare and applying sunscreen because I feel like if my brows are done, I instantly look more put together. And I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. I've gotten back into using a brow pencil lately. I kind of stopped for a while and was mostly using a brow pen, but now I am really enjoying using a brow pencil, especially for the inner part of my brows to keep them looking really soft. And then I like to finish up with a brow pen and draw in some really small precise hairs at the tail of my brow. And this is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Pen in the shade Fling. And I'm gonna set them with the NYX Brow Mascara in Blonde. The next thing that I do in my routine is I apply concealer and I'm starting with this Exa Color Corrector in Pink. And then before I blend it out, I also add two small dots of this CoverGirl concealer in the shade Classic Beige. This is a really good full coverage concealer. I like to apply them at the same time and then blend it out together because one, it just saves time, and two, the color corrector is really creamy and emollient and it helps the concealer to blend out really easily and it helps to prevent it from looking too dry. Now, since this is a powder foundation routine, I'm going to do all my liquid and cream products first, with the exception of blush. And I'm going to use concealer to spot conceal any areas, like any blemishes, any redness, to perfect the skin before applying my powder foundation. At the moment, my skin is in pretty good condition. I have a little bit of redness that I'm gonna cover up on my cheek and a few tiny little blemishes that I will spot conceal and I'm going to press it very gently and kind of just push that concealer into the skin this way it keeps the coverage and it looks the most natural next I'm going to use cream bronzer and I'm going to use my Merit bronze balm in the shade clay I'm going to apply it with my Refer Number 31 foundation brush. This is so good for applying cream products and I like to just pick some up right onto the brush. And this brush works so well for applying bronzer because it's slanted. So I can just kind of do this in an upwards motion and blend the bronzer from my cheekbone up to the center of the cheek. And by flicking the brush upwards, it ensures that the contour doesn't go below your cheekbone and it keeps everything looking really lifted. I checked the Refer website this morning and starting on April 14th, all of the brushes in their concept store are going to be 40% off, which is an incredible deal. I definitely plan on picking up a few that I didn't get last time they had this sale. These are my favorite brushes. The quality is so good and they have such a good variety of brushes to choose from between face brushes, eye brushes. Do you guys want to see a video of me reviewing all of my refer brushes? Because I could do that if it would be helpful. I could do 
tutorial style where I use all of the brushes in a makeup look and then give you my thoughts about them and describe each one. So leave me a comment, let me know if that's a video that you would like to see. And I'll also leave the link to the Ruffer website in my description box in case you want to sign up to get an alert for when the sale goes live or if you want to check out any of the brushes that they have. Okay, so now that my skin is lightly sculpted and bronzed, I'm going to go in with powder foundation. And I'm going to use the L'Oreal Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation. I have the shade 310 Nude Beige, and I'm going to use an e.l.f. blush brush. I really like this brush for powder foundation because it's flat and tapered, but it picks up a nice amount of powder. And I always start in my T-zone where I need the most coverage and where I need to take down the shine. So I like to gently press and pat the foundation into the skin. You can see I'm not even fully lifting the brush off of my skin. I'm just quickly patting. And this helps to provide the most coverage and really press the powder into the skin. I love the texture of this foundation. It's very creamy, but very lightweight. And it has light to medium buildable coverage. So it evens out my skin tone and it does visibly blur the skin, but it's pretty undetectable on my skin. I feel like I can't see any powder sitting on top of the skin. It does a nice job of melting in and looking very skin-like. And then on the areas where I need less coverage, but I just want to even out the skin tone, I just lightly sweep over those areas with whatever powder is left on the brush. And I'll try to get a little closer so that you can see what the skin looks like, but hopefully you can tell it doesn't look powdery, it doesn't look dry. The skin is just a little bit more even toned and a little bit more perfected. The only place that I don't use this powder is under my eyes. I feel like it's a little bit too heavy to set my under eye area. So for that, I like to use my Laura Mercier Loose Powder. This is just super, super lightweight. And I really like to use this to set my under eyes. For blush, I have been loving the Patrick Ta Powder and Cream Blush Duos. This is the shade Do We Know Her, and this is the more like peach tone shade that they have. I did a video recently on the shades She's a Doll and She's That Girl, which are some of the more pink tone blushes, so I'll leave that one linked in case you want to check it out. But I'm going to go in first with the powder. The powder blushes in the duos that I have are matte, and then the cream blush is more of a dewy finish, and I apply that on top of the powder because it leaves the skin looking really radiant and glowy, and that's how Patrick Ta actually recommends applying this blush, is cream over powder. And this color is so pretty. It's like the most natural peach color. If you like peach blushes, then you have to check this one out. It's so good. Here's the powder. It's a really soft, natural shade of peach. And then this is the cream. And I love how it's such a bright, almost coral shade with a strong peach undertone. I'm going to apply the cream blush with a sponge. I feel like it applies the most evenly that way. And I'm going to gently bounce over the center of the cheek where I want to intensify the color. And then I like to kind of go over the edges with a clean area of the sponge to soften the edges and make sure that everything is like really well blended. But both the powder and the cream and the compact are so easy to use. They really do just melt into the skin. They don't look patchy. The cream doesn't lift up any of the makeup from underneath. It just looks so pretty. I like to finish up by bringing the blush in the center of the face too, just doing a little bit over the bridge of the nose and along the side of the nose for that like fresh, just been out in the sun type of look. Even on quick makeup days like today, I still like to apply some eyeliner and I'm using the shade Demolition from Urban Decay. It's a dark brown and I start in the center of the eye. I kind of lay the pencil on its side and just get that pigmentation all along the upper lash line. I stop once I get to the outer corner 
and kind of put a few dots at that outer corner. And then I take a really small pencil brush, pick up some of the color from the pencil, and then I use that to extend my wing. And this technique has made doing my wings so much easier. I feel like they come out looking so much cleaner and crisper. And this is a really good technique for deep set eyes or if you have a lot of little fine lines out the outer corner of your eye. And I really like using these powder puffs to hold my skin taut because it prevents any of the foundation and concealer from lifting off of the face. I also like to do a little bit of tight lining. I especially like to tight line at the inner corner here instead of drawing the pencil on my upper lash line because it gives me more lid space at the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to use my Essence Eye Pencil in Silky Nude on my lower lash line. And then for a super quick and pretty eyeshadow look, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Moonlight. And I'm going to scribble that all over the lids. I'm going to bring it up to my crease. This pencil just glides on so quickly and so easily, and these are so pigmented. I really like the shade Moonlight. It's such a pretty shade of bronze, and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. And then I'm going to take my Refer 28 brush, which is a flat shadow brush, and this one works really well with cream products. And I'm going to blend that out through the crease. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of the cream eyeshadow directly onto the brush. And I'm going to flip that brush around so that I get some of the cream shadow up above my crease. And I'm just going to lightly blend that upwards. This is going to be a really simple one shadow look. I love how this pencil looks so dimensional. It looks like I have more than one shadow on my eyes. When you blend it out, it sort of diffuses out some of that shimmer and it almost looks like I have a satin matte shadow through the crease. I'm also going to apply this on the lower lash line. And then I'll softly buff over the edges to diffuse it out. I'm going to apply some highlighter on my brow bone. I'm going to mix the gold and the pearl shade together from this Dior palette. I have not been able to stop using this palette. It's so pretty. It really leaves such a beautiful glow on the skin. I'm going to use the same brush that I used for foundation and pick up these two highlighters and apply a little bit to the top of the cheek. And I'll bring it around in a C shape around my eye. Before I finish up my eyes with mascara, I'm going to apply MAC Fix Plus just to take down any powdery finish that I might have on my face and just like melt everything together. For mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and also the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Okay, so the eye look is complete. This is the eyeshadow and the eyeliner look. Super simple, but it looks really great. It looks like I put a lot more time into it than I did. Now we're just going to finish up with lips. I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Nude Beige. This is like the lip liner of the year. Such a good color. And I'm going to apply the Clinique Lip Pop Lipstick in the shade Nude Pop. This has been my go-to everyday pink shade. And I'm going to finish up with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Sun. This is a newer shade to me. This is like a very transparent base with a little bit of a champagne shimmer. It still has some shimmer to it, just like the shades Pearl and Moon that I have, but the base doesn't have too much color to it. It just leaves like a little bit of a champagne golden tint on the lips. So 
So this is the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my everyday powder foundation routine. Let me know in the comments what makeup you've been loving lately. Are there any powder foundations that are your go-tos? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon in the next video. Bye.